Hey you guys, I'm Tony Covington, the owner of Brains Beauty and Bank, and I created Brains Beauty and Bank um, in 2019 to highlight goal-driven entrepreneurs that's paving the way in their own lane. And I wanted to bring it back in 2023 and none other than uh, the proper way to bring it back, introducing and Tiara Sharp, who's the CEO of Not Human Graphics, and she's also the creative director of Covington Management, with how, which houses um, Brains, Beauty and Bank, Octane Energy, and Just a Sip. So let's give it up for Tiara. <laughs> How you doing, Tiara? I'm great. I'm Happy good. New Year. Same to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so goofy. I'm so... <laughs> Go ahead and get it out. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm good. Happy New yeah. Year to you. So, I thought it was only fitting to bring back brains beating and bank with you because as you've as you as you've heard me say so many times i literally put my life in your hands <laughs> so <laughs> literally yeah. so um i felt like it was fitting for me to give you your flowers um and put you you know in the forefront because you are uh, you're such a force to be reckoned with. And on top of that, you have been an inspiration to so many people, not unknowingly, and people don't even know like who you are in some, <laughs> in some spaces. Like they see your work everywhere, but they're like, who made this? Who made this? <laughs> right. And you know, now you're, you're on a worldwide commercial with Comcast, with Octane. Mm -hmm. um, you're on, you're in stores. You're in uh, music videos. Um, you've you've touched so many um, areas from the CBD, holistic, uh, <laughs> yeah. everything. I mean, you've you put your stamp on everything. So I felt like it was it was my honor to bring you on here and speak about you know your graphic designs, um, where you see yourself going. Um, and just talk about you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead and, and introduce yourself to everyone. Let them know, you know, who you are. Um, well, I'm T.R. Sharp from Ohio. Um, it's really not much about me besides that I do art and create and save animals. I mean, that's it. <laughs> that's what I, <laughs> I spend my days doing. So... <laughs> Somebody yeah. got to do it. Yes. <laughs> we love the animal. <laughs> yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> but, and um, we... And, go yeah, ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Yeah, that's it. That That's all that I really do. And, I, you know, I'm in college to, to finish my degree for graphic arts. But most of my days, I'm just designing, like, the whole day if I'm not at work. And what do you do for work? Um, it's set up at Cleveland State. It's just uh, a basic job, but they pay for your tuition. So yeah, it's a blessing that they, they do that because I actually ran out of financial aid once mm -hmm. I started getting to the end of my classes. So I kind of gave up. And, you know, once they gave me that offer, I was just like, might as well finish. Might as yeah. well. That's yeah. the blessing in disguise, right? The yeah. divine timing. Yes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Take it when it's there. Yeah. So I want to ask you a few questions in regards to, you know, um, you starting your your business and how it has flourished the way it's flourished. So when did you start getting into graphics? Um, I started actually in 2010 and I was with the organization that kind of crumbled and in that organization, I met a lady named Electa, and she introduced me to Eastern Star, and I started doing graphics for Eastern Star. And then from there, it was just like um, people started seeing my work uh, via the internet, and I started doing for like local rappers and clubs and different parties and stuff like that. And I just kept it going because 
I was just kind of like so infatuated with it, like seeing mm-hmm. my art just like climb and climb. And I would watch YouTube tutorials for hours, just going step by step or like putting it in slow motion just so I can learn a certain technique and stuff like that. And I'm still here. And that takes a lot of that takes a lot of patience. I mean, you think Canva is, <laughs> or bizarre art? Like when I see you, when I see the the intricate details that you put in your work, I'm like, how the hell she do that shit? Or mm-hmm. just the the different. My one of the things that I love about Tierra is I love challenging her. Little does she know, I'll see something and I'm like, Tierra can do. This. I know she can and then I'll throw it to her I'm like hey can you can you redo this and she'll be like give me some time let me YouTube (laughs) yeah but and I do that because I know it's going to expand her portfolio and get her and and expand her expression so and I think that's how you keep people thriving in that Mm -hmm. sense as well what's the most crucial part about you know being in graphic design um, I would say taking the client's thoughts and making it into an art. So I'm like a human AI because most people don't have a vision. They just tell me their thoughts and I have to literally try to come up with what they're thinking. And that's important to me because right. it's like, it's like a challenge. I challenge myself. I challenge, uh, you know just my craft like i know i could do it and i always do it like i never really have nobody upset about their work like right yeah and to me it you know just from hearing your story sometime i'm like i think they trust you that's a big form of trust right but on top of that i know it's got to be frustrating as hell because people are expecting you also to read their damn mind Mm -hmm. It's kind of like you can get it like uh like the writer's block. Like mm-hmm. I get that. And I, I just be like, I don't know. And I'll sit there and scroll different art just to try to get something in my mind to like, or I'll end up texting sometimes like, do you have any type of reference, like color scheme, <laughs> just something to help me because right now I'm just stuck. Yeah. <laughs> what? Within the world of graphic design, what products do you offer? Like what, well, let me rephrase. What services do you mm. offer? Like Let me count the ways. <laughs> <laughs> like literally everything, anything somebody asks for, I really try to do except websites. I'm not quite there yet mm-hmm. um, as far as designing websites, but uh flyers business cards videos uh posters billboards just anything labels yeah i i think you have i mean i'm i i do not want to sound biased but i'm being a little biased because i've seen you work i think you have the website niche i think it just takes you getting like sitting down and like actually going through all the nuances like all of the uh the coding of it all you know what i mean mm-hmm. and i think i think you got it quite frankly yeah yeah <laughs> but like i, I would said, definitely that's... have to learn that part <laughs> i had did the galactic icon with the template from shopify but that was even kind of difficult for me a little bit mm. to understand what was it was it was crazy, but I had got it together and had it looking very nice. So, and one day I'll probably get into that though, because a lot yeah. of so many people ask me for that service, and I don't know how it makes me upset. It's not something I could be like, let me YouTube this for an hour and figure it out. Mm. It's big money in it. It's big. It's big yeah. money in 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 um in website development. Mm-hmm. It's big money in it. It, it. it can definitely like, you know, but but there's also big money and just the standalone graphic design as well. Mm-hmm. I told you that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where do you see not human graphics in five years? Um, that's a good question. Hmm. 
I would probably still just be working for me, like as a freelancer. Um, one day I would want to like hire designers to like work with me, work, but it takes a lot to work with me because I've done it like hiring freelance or Fiverr and I don't like their work. I'm not gonna, I'm not the type of person that turns in anything for cash. It has to be a quality work. And okay. They, you know, I just haven't met nobody that met my expectations. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, that's just me. So it'll probably just be me running it until I can find somebody who has that that good graphic design work to probably come on board. You need that though. I mean, I and and toot your horn, girl. Shit, I'm a tutor for you. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the day, you need you want you need to you want a team and need a team that's going to uh, bring that 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 Mrs. Sharp uh, mm-hmm. umph on it, that stamp on it, yeah. and and what you don't want is to bring on team members and you task them out for certain projects, and then you got the you got the um, the 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 customer saying. Ah, oh, Tierra, can you do it? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what's the point of having a team if we got to go yep. through all of that? Yeah. I totally get it. Yeah. Um, what motivates you and your work? Making people happy. Like, you know, when you be happy, like, I be happy. So I be like, it makes me excited and I want to do more than I do. I, I do extra, you know, just just to make people happy. That's that's yeah. all I really care about. Like I can scroll social media and see a person post their logo and it's probably like a terrible logo. Me, if I had all the time in the world, I want to reach out and say, hey, I want to do this over for you. You don't even have to pay me. I just want your logo to look decent so you can brand your business and stuff like that. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Such a damn pure heart, I hate it. <laughs> like, this shit look trashy. Let me you need to do this over. Yes, yes. I don't know how many times, y'all, I have worked on projects with different people and I'll give it to T and she'll say, Tony, I gotta redo this. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And I don't feel no ways about it because it ain't my graphic for one and for two, it's on my work. So I know she's gonna make it look the Tierra way, the right. Tierra standard. Right. That's the one. That's the one thing. The, the yin, the yin and yang about uh, me and Tierra is that I never put her in a box. Like when she creates something, we have a yin and yang now to where I'm like, hey, this is what I'm looking at. This is what I'm thinking about, and mm-hmm. I and I throw her references, and she goes with it. But that's because we 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 what four years now, five years now, yeah. we've we've learned that yin and yang about one another, and we and we both have our creative abilities. She just she has a way of just turning them into life, um, and it her work speaks for itself. I mean, it, it that's just is what it is. Um, what do you dislike the most? <laughs> As, mm-hmm. Um, I think it would be like some clients Top just five. don't have an understanding. Some clients don't have an understanding of like timing. I had someone ask for a logo, and she called me back two hours later, and I'm like. So you think it's done that fast? Like it takes time to um to do stuff like that. Or like close family and friends. Mm. They feel like they don't have to pay. I'm just like mm. even if you <laughs> feel like that, you don't need at least wanna offer like what yeah. your character as a person don't wanna offer and say, Well here's twenty dollars or something. So okay. I had to really back away from like doing stuff from close family and friends. They take advantage, but they'll go pay Fiverr or they'll go pay one of the bootleg designers who's offering the cartoon graphics for 50 bucks. They'll pay them, but they won't pay me. I'm notorious. 
I'm, <laughs> oh, we can get into it. <laughs> I, I'm notorious for when whenever we like post stuff and I and I tag you stuff. It, when it's it's so weird. Whenever like we post stuff and I'll tag tag your your handle, I like randomly get these. Oh, I can do these graphics. I can do these logos. I can do these cartoons. I'm like. But it's always when I tag you. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, what is up with that? I block. I have I'm the block queen. I have no problem blocking people. Yes. <laughs> and it's out of and it's out of respect. Especially on Instagram, because they'll inbox me and I'm just like, you don't see that I'm a designer. Like, why would I need your services? Yeah. <laughs> we ain't gonna get into that. Okay. Um, <laughs> What is the, um, what is your greatest strength? My greatest strength is my character because I always just, I just always try to do things right. I never try to get over, push over on nobody. And if someone gets something from me, I'm always adding extra. You're not going to get just what you pay for you might get a logo on a business card a logo and a video or extra stuff with your logo or whatever i just try to you know just make everybody happy yeah. so that i remain happy i like that and that's a good quality to have because if you go in it with the customer service attitude um, I, I personally don't believe in the, the, the customer is always right. I don't. Right. Um, I believe in good customer service. I don't believe mm-hmm. the customer is always right. Right. Um, so what do you require in succeeding in your business? Um. I require that jackpot that somebody won in Maine, but that's okay. (laughs) (laughs) So, so I'm just going to go with, I I really just want to finish my degree so that I can just go, I want to go full-time freelance. And everything else, you know, I have, like the software, my programs, motivation the people behind me i appreciate yeah. y'all and yeah you know me I, i'm 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 here for life like whatever you need to mm-hmm. to help you thrive to help you succeed you know um i'm not going to speak on our personal conversations but but you know what what my what my plans are for you yes. um so that and and i'm i'm a hundred percent committed with the the angels the ancestors and divine to make sure it happens um because yes. that's what i see what advice would you give uh your younger self about going into graphic design not even so much graphic design but just going into business um ask questions and stop being so i'm very introverted um just try to be more <laughs> talk to ask questions talk to people um it's just stuff like reach out if you need help i've always been a person to help but never reach out when i need help so that's what i probably alone. would be further <laughs> in life if i if i did that what makes you not i don't i don't know i think i just always want to be the one to help I don't Mm -hmm. never want to be the one to ever need help because I rely on help from God. So I just be like, I got to be the strong one. I've always had to be the strong one. So, yeah. Hmm. That kind of hit me. (laughs) First, you know, you know, being honest, transparent, you know, the first thing that that first phrase that came to me, to me, for me, super saver hoe. You always trying to be super saver hoe. <laughs> and, and you do, you do, you try to save the world, but I think that's like a good characteristic to have, but also is is you need help too. Right. It comes to a fault. But 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 like you, I'm super um 
I say critical introverted. Like, I don't like people. Mm-hmm. I don't like talking to people. Mm-hmm. I may look like I do, but I don't. Mm-hmm. And I'm very introverted. I don't trust people. I don't, mm-hmm. I don't, um, I don't trust easily. And uh, being in business has made me even more introverted. And which, which is hard because of the business that I'm in. Um, it's mm-hmm. all customer based. Right. So, <laughs> right. Yes. So I told, I, I, I totally get it. Um, what makes a good leader? Um, I would say honesty, mm. honesty, loyalty, and character, and not just like how they say on the internet, like, oh, I'm like, seriously, like, you're a loyal person, like, you really live by this, and you just try to be a good human. I, I don't understand why that's so hard for the world, but it's just being a good human. I think it's hard for the world because, ooh, girl, let me not go there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll be on here for hours. Um, but I think it's, I, I will say for this this day and age, I feel like social media has been the, the, the turmoil for a lot of people's characters. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like, and, and this is language that I know you and I understand. I feel like the veil is really thin right now. Mm-hmm. And um, a lot of people are showing who they really are, mm-hmm. um, and we uh, that that don't float in those areas stand back from them and watch them crumble. Yeah, like I'm not going to be a part of of your of your downfall, nor do I want to watch it. Right. Um, right. But I feel like it's hard for people to be like just good human beings because everyone's like, not everyone, but you know. Those ones, they're just so focused on being caught up with the Joneses, mm-hmm. um, um, better than who, who yep. shot John. Is always a competition, yep. and it, it, you know, so quick to get over on people. Yep. And it's just you don't win when you're ugly. You don't win when you do when you do ugly things. And um, I, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I can go on and on. <laughs> <laughs> Um, two more questions. So what qualities do you think every entrepreneur, entrepreneur should possess? Oh, they have to be strong. Cause I'm, I'm just not getting strong. You Mm -hmm. have to be strong, especially when dealing with people and, you know, customers, because they'll really try to get over on you. Um, you have to be strong when it comes to criticism. Everyone might not like my artwork. I had a person not like my artwork. I did like three logos oh. for her. <laughs> I I don't know what it was, and, and I tried very hard. Um, I never seen her drop a logo though. I always follow her page just to see like if she's mm. you know. I never seen her drop, but we tried three different logos, and she didn't like it, and. Um, I gave her half her money back. I didn't complain. Um, and just left it like that. But you have to be strong when it comes to criticism. Somebody might not like something you have. and You just got to know how to deal with it. I would never go and make a post about the lady like this lady. You know. Right. I, yeah. When we were at Olympia... And um, you know we had a we had a lot more people liking it than disliking, which was which was which was great, of course. Um, but you know we did have those that's like, hmm, I I it's okay, and I just look at them like, mm-hmm. <laughs> right, right, <laughs> get your ass on, like <laughs> I'm not about to I'm not about to convince you, right, right, <laughs> it's not, right. Um, what, well, who's your, I don't want this to come off in a kind of way because people support in their own way, but who is your biggest supporters? Oh, it'll be you, um, <laughs> the lady Electa that I told you about. Uh, yeah. There's a guy, uh, I Am Me Customs, Studiwood, um, 
the girl Tracy, um, our friend Ricky, she was a big support system when it came to Galactic Icon, like, I don't know, I never asked, but one day she just brought hundreds of dollars worth of my clothes, and I'm like, like, I didn't even buy hundreds of dollars worth of my own clothes, so I just <laughs> appreciated that, you know, um, it's, it's a few people that support me that's been there with me since um, the first organization that I was in that got crumbled. And they've been there. They've really been there. They still get graphics from me since 2010. So that's like, even if that's it's here and there, they, they still come around and they'll never go to nobody else, which is so crazy. And I'm just like, okay, you know, but yeah, they're my my supporters and my aunt she su she supports me she's always busy but i always send her what i'm doing and stuff like that yeah. nice um what would you change about your business journey if you could go back um man the way i started off doing graphics i lost a lot of money because people would get their graphics and run I wasn't, I Ooh. wasn't like, and that's when I just was using PayPal. It was, I, I don't think I had Cash App or anything. I would send the PayPal and they would literally run off and block me and stuff. I would change how I was running stuff at first because adding up all that money, I'm telling you, that was a lot of money that was lost. Yeah. But I didn't know. I didn't know. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> what have you changed um i usually get deposits especially with people i don't know people that's been coming to me forever like i i have no problems with them at all but like yeah. if it's new clients i definitely get deposits sometimes if i think the client is going to be difficult even though i should probably do it with everybody but i don't i send them like this little small contract thing i have i would but, yeah, <laughs> I would do it, but, but for real, for real, like I would, I mean, yes, to your point, you wouldn't do it with everyone because some people you just know they're good for it. Yeah. But I would make that your, your thing, like yeah. no hard feelings, Johnny, but right. I got to right. protect my business. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would, shit, mm -hmm. do it to me. And, and, mm -hmm. and, and quite frankly, like I would do it just so you can you can be comfortable doing it to other people. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause I know how that fear is, especially when you're dealing with like personal people or on a friendship level, like you cool with them. Mm -hmm. You don't want to come off brand new. Right. right? But yes. it's like, y'all have to respect the fact that this is my money. This is my business. This is my blood, sweat and tears. And I've already been burnt. Right. So yeah. Send that paper yeah, it's, it, There's been a few times I actually just, like, wanted to give up, like, but mm. at the same time, like, I really enjoy art. Like, any type of art, I would just, I would do all type of art besides, like, the graphics. I was, like, making, like, the resin lamps and trying to do my own paintings. I was mm -hmm. painting shoes. But anything with art, it just calms me. It gives me a sense of peace in this world i love it yeah. i love it yeah. so off topic a little bit so so i i made um tiara the head of octane games because um you know outside of octane energy drink i wanted something for some reason just gaming just came to me and um, I know nothing about gaming, but I have a house full of gamers, my my husband's be and my two kids, and they game all goddamn day long. And the only other person that I know that games is T. And I know that there's a big world out there for girl gamers, like girl gamers. And I had no idea how expensive it was until um, I started doing my research on it. Like Microsoft, they have a whole um, community that supports this, a nonprofit. Um, girls in tech, um, black, 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 um, I think it's, uh, black people in tech and mm. it just, it's, it's such a rabbit's hole 
and then it, that it goes into STEM, coding, gaming, like the whole shebang. And um, and then when when I wanted you to run it, and then I started seeing like the vast, my mind was just blown. I would just say that my mind was blown, and I felt like, yo, this we're on to something here. Mm -hmm. And um, we're we're definitely going to do some conferences. So I just want you to know we're going to do some conferences. Um, we're going to put more of your your work in the forefront, not just for Octane Games, but for for um, Galacticon as well, because mm -hmm. I feel like that that is not getting as just due the way I the way I visualize it, at least like it's not getting as just due. And it needs to be like it's, it needs to have its own platform. For sure, okay. um, I'm gaming and, now. Huh? <laughs> okay, see. <laughs> I had to pause it for the interview. <laughs> Look in my house. So, so, so any anything serious could be going on, right? But if people are gaming in the house, and Supreme is like, she can't pause it right now. You can't pause this game. Uh, uh, um, uh, she could die if she pauses this game. I'm like. <laughs> She got spaghetti on the stove. She'll pause that goddamn. Day. <laughs> I mean, anything else goes, but if they gaming, like I don't exist. All right. It's, it's the story of my life. Um, mm -hmm. Do you have any questions to ask me while I still have you? Um, no, but I just do want to say that I just appreciate every opportunity you have given me because. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be in school. If it wasn't for you, I probably wouldn't be at where I'm at at the level of my graphics now, especially with my uh, videos, my After Effects videos and stuff like that. <laughs> so I appreciate every challenge and opportunity. It's been really great working with you. Girl, you ain't say nothing but a word. I, I've, <laughs> I, I can't go down a list of, of, well, I can, but you, I put my life in Tierra's hands as of 2018. And, uh, mm. you know, I, I big up to Terry Warfield. Um, mm -hmm. Terry is a, is a mutual friend of both of ours. And when I started Just a Sip, I said, I need a graphic designer. And he blessed me with, with Tierra. And she's been in my life and has ever been a big since. part of my life. <laughs> Every since, and my my kids would be like, she's she's talking to T, she's talking to Auntie T, she's talking to T, and she's she's become a consistent in my life, and that's the biggest part for me, a consistent, and um, there's nothing I won't do for you. I hands that. hand hands down, <laughs> nothing I won't do for you, um, and you already know how it is. You need a lawyer, <laughs> right? Oh, you know who. On deck, you know? right, right. <laughs> right. So that's that's how deep my love is and my and and my love and my respect for T. Um, th that's nothing. That's nothing I won't do for you. You you you've created. You have turned my life around in so many ways where I was so lost and so many things. And you're like, oh, we can do this. We could we could I could fix this. We can make yeah. this look like this, and not knowing that we were helping one another—that's just um, that's that's just a whole different story. And then you know us finding out about what our true passion is, and that we shared that as well. And it was like <laughs> tear. So, um, but I'm not going to hold you too much longer. Um, I wanted to bring you on here, like I said, to raise you up in good spirits. Um, give you your your ace of cups <laughs> now this is going to change a whole lot because this is the first interview that i uh you know agreed to do and no so way. many people has asked me on their podcast so now <laughs> they're gonna be like what so now yeah, you shady, I'm gonna <laughs> Let me just say no. I got, I'm... I got to ask them. Okay, why you say no to them? No, I never said no. I just be like, we're gonna get to it. I'm just not. <laughs> I'm just not like a, a a talking person. But I talk to you all the time, so I felt like a comfort. You right. Know? 
don't know. I don't know. Is don't it know the that be... that's what it is? It's the comfort level. Yeah, yeah. I'm a cat lady. Like I, I talk to cats all day. So there has to be a comfort level. I to... talked to my dog. He <laughs> understand me very well. <laughs> so yeah, they'll be all right. Yeah. But now, but now they will know how to um, approach you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, you, yeah. you, you, you can't just go in and talk to someone This is so like robotic, you know, get to actually know them, let them talk, let them share their story and, and, and not let it be such a Q and a, right. You right. know? Yeah. Yeah. But, um, it's been a pleasure, as Thank always. You. I'm sure later on the day I'll be texting you. Because <laughs> I want to send you a gang of emails, so, yeah. <laughs> well, know that um, you are my sister in spirit. I love you dearly. Um, and no, I have no problem taking these, these earrings off. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Same year. <laughs> you already know. <laughs> she said you already know. Man. All right, T, you want to give everyone um, where they can find you, your handles, your website? Um, For now, it's just not human. Uh, N O T H U M A N G R A F X on um, TikTok. Instagram and Facebook. Yeah, yeah. I think no. Your your TikTok is B A something. Unless you gotta. Um... No, it's not human graphics, and but then at the top it say Bismillah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I yeah. love I love how that sounds. Yeah. <laughs> I do. I really do. It's so pretty. It sounds yeah. like a. It sounds like like a like a um. It sounds like a charm. Um, it's, but I know it, it means, means in else. the name of God. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So like that. I'm, I'm gonna get serious. you a necklace made with that with that one. Oh, it. that will be awesome. I'm gonna do that. Yeah, I'm gonna get you a necklace made with that on. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <getting excited. laughs> no, I already <laughs> sent you a. I sent you a ring. Yeah, my ring. Where's my uh, ring? No. I got this one. <laughs> I had it on yesterday. Yeah, my ring. You, you sent me a lot of stuff. My she take all my money. <laughs> <laughs> leggings, everything. Like, and my sister. I, I want to say this: my sister, she is a diabetic, and she started mm -hmm. drinking the energy drinks. Like, she can't get enough, and it doesn't oh. mess with her. It doesn't mess with her her sugar levels or nothing. But she's like infatuated. So yeah. Love it. I can't yeah. wait till we get the new flavors. You already know what it yes. is. Yes. Um All right, Tiara. Miss Tiara okay. Sharp. You guys go and check her out on all of her social medias. Um, on her TikTok, on her Instagram. She's on Facebook as well. I'll be uploading this to our YouTube so you guys can check out the full interview. Um anything you want to say to the people? <laughs> He <laughs> said, nope. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, you guys. Peace out, T. Okay. Love bye. you. Love you, bye. too. Bye. <laughs>